My name is Sam Nicholson and I teach logic and philosophy for Homeschool Connections. And I'm going to tell you right now that if you're looking for something that's practical and useful, you want to take philosophy. Yes, I just said that. If you're looking for something practical and useful, you want to take philosophy. And the reason why is because in philosophy we study concepts that are so fundamental and so basic to the way that we think about a variety of different topics that there is no substitute for the kind of training that you will get in philosophy. We will discuss concepts such as God, his nature and existence, the scope and limits of human knowledge, the nature of existence, justice, truth, beauty. These are concepts that are foundational to our understanding of ourselves as human beings, and they have a broad scope of applicability. They apply in the sciences, they apply in the humanities, whether you're going into law, whether you're going to be doing engineering. The kinds of skills that you'll acquire in thinking rigorously and philosophically, it will pay dividends, irrespective of what your trade is going to be and where you're going to go in life. Another reason why you want to acquire this is because I can tell you from having had 12 years of experience teaching at the university level and over three years teaching at the high school level that you want to learn this stuff now because when you go off to college you're going to be bombarded with an entire array of different ideas. Some of them are complete nonsense. Some of them are harmful. Some of them aren't even intelligible and they're going to be propounded by people with PhDs who really ought to know better. And you're going to need some kind of baseline criteria for understanding, is this something that I ought to believe? Does it have a rational foundation? Or is this just some gobbledygook that's gotten published in too many journals? You're going to need to know the difference. And logic and philosophy will supply you with the tools to sort the good apples from the bad apples. You'll be able to distinguish a fallacy from something that is a cogent argument. You'll be able to situate it in its historical context because you'll be in conversation with some of the brightest minds in the history of Western civilization. People like Plato, Aristotle, Augustine, Aquinas, Immanuel Kant, and the list goes on. If you master the concepts that you get in philosophy, then you will have a skill set that is unique to thinking abstractly and critically, and it will apply in a broad array of different disciplines and other tasks in life. You can't do better than philosophical education. I also want to put it in a plug for logic, because that too is something that will serve you in a, in a wide variety of different contexts. In logic, you'll learn how to clarify terms, reason from premises to a conclusion, distinguish between a cogent argument from a fallacious argument, you'll, just, you'll understand the concept of validity and logical entailment, and it'll apply in uh, all walks of life. There's nothing wrong with learning how to think, and if you learn how to think, then there's nothing that you can't do. And so I just want to uh, put in another plug and tell you that if you're looking for something practical and you're looking for something useful, you want to take philosophy.